Shout out to Coppish. Shout out to Coppish, guys. All the good work. The up. two legends, Evil Heskey, Howard, Howard Gell. Can't get much better than that, guy. Yeah. You know what to do now. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm with legends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
and Man U just dropped the ball like that at Old Trafford in the last two minutes of a game. That was Stamford Bridge. Everybody's behind Chelsea, and Chelsea are gonna. Uh, Chelsea are trying to impress their fans, so to speak. Do you get what I mean? I'm not sure if Chelsea away from home would have been able to do that. So it's a whole different ball game, the Man United game. Um, it's but here's the thing. I Listen don't again. know. Is it the occasion again, bro? That, but that's what I was just going to say. I don't know if we're going to play the game or if we're going to play the occasion. I don't know, bro. Liverpool, nine times out of ten, played the occasion at Old Trafford. One of the only times I can remember in recent history we didn't play the occasion is when we beat them 4-0 and Naby Keita scored and, and Salah got the hat-trick. That's the yeah. only time yeah. I can think of where we went there and we didn't play the occasion, we just played the game. And let's be honest, Man United were in the mud when we played them in that game. Like they, they were, were. It, was five, it was five actually, because I think Jot, did Jota get, get one as well? Did Jota get one? Oh yes, he did. Yeah, at the back post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's five, I think. It was five. Big up the people then. Um, I think but that's still, the only time I can think of recently where we've gone Old Trafford and we haven't played the occasion. But let's hope this is one of them times because. Well, tell a lie. We beat them in the lockdown season when we were when we were chasing fourth, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We beat them. F- I remember so Bobby. We beat them. In, yeah, someone just said it now. Ali A. We beat them in the COVID four two four two. That's the four one. Four two. You're yeah. Four two. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, with, with no fans in the stadium, that one's a little bit tricky to gauge that because is, it's yeah, a it's a different. Field. Yeah. It's a lot easier when there's no fans to play an away game. It's not really an away game apart from the dressing room, minute when there's no fans. So that's, that's a little bit. That's the reason why City beat us that year at Anfield. There was no fans. But I personally, I personally don't know which way to look at this game. Are we going to get revenge? Do we flip the script? Do we do what Arsenal did to us where they got the revenge for the FA Cup defeat in the league? But they were at home for both of those. We're I was away for both. Say we're away, though, bro. Different, you know what I mean? But <sighs> surely we got to be in United at least one time this year. That that's that's like, exactly what I think. We are such a superior team to them. We are... surely we can beat them one time that's in this thing. season. We are superior to them, but the problem is, like you said, we always play the occasion, not the game. Liverpool now are going to... Here's the thing now. I just hope the players play with a clear mindset. I know the title even says, will we get revenge kind of thing on, on May United, yeah? And Liverpool could do that. It might be a revenge thing for them where they're just focused, but it's revenge. Or it could be revenge, but you're so heavily focused on revenge, you, you it's almost like you've lost, you've lost your way, so to speak. But mm. then you've got the May United element as well. It's very different. They're not trying to get revenge. Yeah, they want to avenge their their bad loss, but it's not revenge, it's avenging. There's two different scenarios, bro. I actually feel like Man United will be the lot calmer out of the two teams because they have nothing to really... I know you're saying they did the, the top four team, but they know that by stopping us winning, whether it's a draw or a loss, it destroys our season. And we have to be on our P's and Q's, bro. Like, I'm telling you from now, this is where, for me, the real Liverpool of all, all this season, we keep talking about our good will, we have to show up. Because it's okay showing up against the smaller teams. But Man United are our eternal rivals. We have to beat them, no matter what. Bro, I don't care if it's the jammiest 1-0. I don't even care, bro, if we have less possession. I'm not joking. Go there, get three points. We haven't got time to kind of like go toe to toe, like back and forth with them. Because that's the thing. They would want to turn it into a dogfight. If we play our football how we know we can, we can actually go Old Trafford, silence them and actually play them off the park if we want to. But we have to have Mm. that mindset, bro. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true, bro. We have to. I mean, it's funny because Man United versus Liverpool doesn't have the same vim as it does, um, as it used to because of the fact that Man United haven't been in a title race for a long time. But not just that, I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking, I think Rashford, McTominay and Bruno 
will hate Liverpool and care massively about this from an emotional point of view. Outside of those three, can you think of anyone else that will actually care about the rivalry? Yeah, because because I think I think that does play a part when it comes to these type of games. Like, how many players are actually believe in the rivalry? How many of these players actually uh, hate position? I think I just I mean? kind of bought into it, you know. But I think that's more because you can tell he wants to be a superstar at Man United. Whether he gets there or not, I don't know. But he's a talent. But mm -hmm. like, even when he scored yesterday against Chelsea, doing the whole like sitting on the ad board like he wants to be the guy so he would want to be remembered if he could yeah yeah and yeah. then he this to him like he's for Anthony, this is just another game for him no nah, um, players like that don't care about the rivalry yeah he's just seeing it as i just i just want to do well kobe minor maybe because he's he's already been endured by all the most of um yeah, yeah. the uh, uk yeah, so you know in England player, so probably be him as well. So maybe Mino and Garnacho, mm. I think, probably will be the other two. But like you said, like you got your your Bruno Fernandez and, and and your Rashford, maybe even oh yeah, probably even Maguire to be fair, because obviously he's still the captain. Um, so yeah, I do think there are players there, bro. That no, no, that Bruno's think, captain, bro. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm saying Maguire, sorry, Bruno, but Maguire being Maguire. He would want to be that guy in it. So someone in the comment said Dallo, but I think Dallo is just going to be more angry at himself <laughs> for yesterday. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be focused on anything else, but mm. yeah, like, I don't know, man. <sighs> Drift, I'll be real with you. Like, obviously we, we, we had to deal with yesterday and that was just get the three points. Yeah. But this game is just a whole nother like fixture, bro. And not only that, like, this is the one team that could actually really, really cause us problems. Because of, for some strange reason, whenever we go Old Trafford, we just we just don't normally play at our, our best. So mm. we have to be very wary. Um, yeah. But... All right, and let's get into the team. Let's get into the um to the team news. Oh no, we got before we get into it. Yeah, team. yeah. Okay. Big up Abdi says, big up boys. <laughs> we did you a favor taking points off Arsenal. And City returning the favour for us. Hey, bro, listen. <laughs> we, we, listen, we, we want to beat Man United, trust me. In fact, we have to beat Man United. And you yeah. know what, Abdi? I'll beg you another two favours. Yeah, just just it, another yeah. two favours, bro. Two, even one, two. I'll tell you what, we'll, if, if we beat Man United, there's our favour return. All you got to do is get a point off of City and a point off of Arsenal. You don't even have to beat them, bro. You don't even have to be. You're not asking for much, are you? <laughs> I have faith that Chelsea can take a point off a of City or Arsenal or both. I have to hold the faith. I have to. I hear that, bro. But that is a that is a tall order and ask to, to ask. No, it is. that it's is because both yeah. games. Are right. That's Same what I was gonna well. say, bro. It's not even like, yeah. boy. Yeah. But you know what, though, Chelsea are that team that yeah. on their day. When did Chelsea play City? Have they played them twice already? Have they? Oh shit! Yeah, they got the draw in it. They did actually. It's Arsenal. I'm oh, talking about. Yeah. It's Arsenal. Oh, it's, Arsenal. Oh, it's Arsenal. They haven't played Arsenal. Yeah, they Chelsea Arsenal with, twice. With against City. They were both draw. That's what I'm saying. They both draw. So they done. It. Chelsea took um, points off them. Four points. Ah, right, well, do yourselves a favor while you're at Abdi and knock them out of the FA right? Cup. Yeah. Um I'd rather see Chelsea win the FA Cup than Man U or Man City. Yeah, for real. Um all right then people, let's get into the starting lineups. Let's 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 get into this team. Drift, regarding Man United, can you see any changes that you think that they might make? This is a mixture of yesterday's team and the injuries that they picked up during the game because if i'm mm. not mistaken uh Varane picked up an injury and johnny evans came on as a substitute and he also picked up an injury as well that's where i put that cam campbell in there because he came on yesterday yeah i've got a feeling they might go for something a bit more experienced like maybe wan Bissaka at center back or something like that but who really? knows we'll yeah Okay, okay. Yeah, because it's Liverpool coming to town, and I don't know if what about Lindelof? Is he is he is Lindelof available, my United fans? 
I think Lindelof's think, injured as well, isn't he? Actually, thinking of it now, Rashford didn't start the game. I think Rashford might start. Finally. Yeah, yeah. I've got a feeling that that's why Rashford wasn't playing yesterday. Although some people have said it's been tactical with Rashford not playing. Mm. But I would probably... Oh, Lindelof is think... out. He's out for a month. Okay. Uh, you know what, Jerry? True, you're a United fan, bro. He's in the chat. If if, if not Wan Bissaka at centre back, do you think you'll go with this young buck then at, at centre back? Or is there another senior player that, we, that we're forgetting about? Um, let us know. I can't think, yeah, I can't think of anybody. Yeah, because Lindelof's out for a month. Evans got injured coming on as a substitute, and Varane got injured during the game. Amrabat at centre back. I don't know. Like. Pfft. I mean, I see what the main United fans say in the chat. There's a few of them in there. Big up some of the United fans in there. I mean, I have put Cam um Cam Boala there. I think it's gonna be him and Maguire. That's how I put him there. But mm. uh, yeah, I think I think that, that could that could be it. And I think this is how they're gonna set up as well, you know. Um Do you know if that's the case, I mean again. Jerry and, and all the Man United fans in the chat, let me know if I'm wrong with this. But if I was a Man United manager, and I know Liverpool are coming to, down, to town looking for revenge, if I've got that kind of centre-back problem, I'm going three defensive midfielders because I know I need to protect the goal. Jerry says it's going to have to be Campbell. <laughs> yeah. But, bro, like, this is Ten Hag. I would probably bench Rashford and play Fernandez out wide if you got to squeeze Fernandez into the team because we well, always know they good. will only do that. No, that I understand what you mean, but I don't see Man United doing that for a home fixture against Liverpool. I just don't see it. But if you've got these defensive problems, wouldn't you want Amrabat, Mainu, and Casemiro in midfield to be fully defensive no, minded bro, to what help? What you're saying is, I would say that's something that I could see Ten Hag doing if they were going away to Anfield. But because they're the home team and they're going to try and have owners and try and be a bit more, a little bit more attacking, there is no way, in yeah, my opinion, that it, they would bench. Or should they be protecting their goal? Because I'll be honest with you, what does home and away matter in terms of like making sure you don't get beat? It's probably better you don't get beat at home. So no, wouldn't you want to be more yeah. protective at home? Forget about entertaining the fans. You want to make hey. sure the fans come after you take a beat. I think so, they'll be feeling confident because they beat us before and they didn't have to do the whole... I mean, don't get me wrong, like you said, it is a centre-back change, but I just personally don't see Ten Hag being that Precautious with his starting lineup at home to Liverpool. I could, you know, Raul made a good point. Raul's made a very good point. Anthony's last two games have been good. Anthony probably will start, you know, because he's kind of yeah. earned. He has, but then Rashford got rested, and Rashford normally plays well against Liverpool. I, no, I think it was tactical. I don't think it was rest, bro. I think Ten Hag's a bit annoyed at Rashford, and it was a tactical switch. He's fresh. Obviously, well, he knows from, Rashford but, will be up for the Liverpool game. That's just my way of thinking, isn't it? I, that's, I'm just thinking, against Liverpool, Rashford is norm normally a bit of a menace, so to speak. I reckon Ten Hag plays him. I'll be shocked if he doesn't, put it like that. Well, what about if he drops Ganacho then and plays Rashford on that yeah, side? Yeah, Ganacho's the man in form. He's more in form than Anthony. Ganacho's the guy right now for them, arguably. Yeah. Score the brace against Chelsea. There ain't no way. I mean, I'll be, I mean, don't get me wrong. Ten, we, ain't, we can't sit here and say Ten Hag is amazing, can we? He could do something mad, but I don't. I don't. I know what you mean. I would probably do that if I was Man United. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised if Rashford was on the bench against Liverpool. I wouldn't. Not against Liverpool, bro. I don't know what it is, but he will just never. He'll always start against us, Rashford. Fair dude. With that being said, let's get on to our starting lineup. As you can see, I've left Keller in goal because we know I don't even know when Ali's back, fam. When Ali's back, he's back in it. It's one of them ones, in it. Mm. Um, right back. I don't think Trent is ready yet. You know. No, 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 no. Trent wouldn't play anyway. Um, no. Uh, I think he will go. Gomez. You think he's gonna go Gomez at right back? Yeah. Swear. Yeah, because he's gonna go Robertson left back. 
Interesting. Hold on, where's Gomez? It's interesting. Okay. Um, Sean right, just then. said he's game, but he's going to be in the main line. And good luck, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, for real. Good luck. Good luck. Um, all right, then. Centre back pairing. We know Virgil's one of them. Well, who's the other one? Do you think he plays? Ibu. Do you think he? Do you think he risks Ibu because Ibu played or not? But Ibu did look. Ibu did look okay though. Ibu, because Ibu finished the game fine, and thankfully it wasn't an injury. I think he'll play Ibu, and then Kwanzaa will play the Atalanta game. Okay. And then left back. Robo. So Robo regains his starting 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 left back spot, yeah. Especially after his good cameo against Sheffield, yeah, hundred percent. So Bradley gets a where's Br hey, am I missing Bradley? Oh no, there's Bradley. So you don't think Bradley will start the game? You don't think so? You don't no, you think he, he'll think, revert back to in the away game, Old Trafford, big occasion, he'll protect the youngster and he'll rather the experience of Gomez at right back. You know what's so mad, yeah? I can see Klopp doing this as well, although I would actually rather to start the game. If Gomez, I'm being completely honest with you, bruv, I probably would do the same. To start what to start the game? No, do you know what? To start the make, game, I will I will play Bradley. I'm gonna start the game, make sure you gain the control over the game, mm. try and get the lead. And then if you've got to bring Bradley on towards the end when maybe they you know got a player on that's a bit quick, maybe they bring on Anthony or Rashford or someone, and then you need your right back to have, you know, a resurgence energy wise. So you got right, Gomez, you're knackered now. You've been playing for an hour. Bradley, you can come on now, like he did against Arsenal that time away at the Emirates, you come on and then you do the shoring up to finish out the game fresh. That's more what I can see him thinking rather than playing the young buck from the beginning. Although obviously Bradley's earned his right to start so he could easily play. But I think he will like the experience of Gomez and Robbo for this game personally. Okay, okay. Interesting. All right then. Um, the number six. I'm going to say Endo starts because when they asked Klopp about Endo, Mm. Um, Klopp said, "Ah, oh, he we could have risked him today, but we just thought giving him a little bit more extra, he definitely should be available for Sunday. So, on that note, I think Endo starts. Do you think Endo starts? Yeah, yeah, I think that's why he was rested. Unless he's injured, I pray he's not, but yeah, yeah I think he'll start. I think you know, if he's a risk, I wouldn't risk him though. Um, like if he's a 50 50 and he could get injured if he played, I wouldn't risk him. I know this is an important game, but we got a whole, what, hopefully 12, 13 games left of the season. I wouldn't risk him. I think, I've, well, Klopp did say he thinks he'll be fine, so it should If he's fine, then that's cool. But yeah, if he's, yeah, if he's yeah. like, oh, let's do a late fitness test kind of thing, then I wouldn't risk it. No, nah, fair play, fair play. If he's um, fine, if he trades right and all that, then yeah. Right. We know one of the midfielders, best midfielder in the league right now, right? We know one of them. Yeah. We know who's still. We know. All right, but yeah, here's yeah. a here's a key question: Is he going to start on the right or the left hand side? Because I gonna would play him on the right. So you would play him on the right. Mm. Do you know what's so interesting? Okay, you just play him on the right. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> and who's the other player that's starting? Jones. Even though Jones has just come back from injury, you're going to start. You think you you think we should start Jones and not Sobersly? I he remember, I'm only, he I did look Jones, very, very good. Yeah. I'm starting. Do, all right, so if that's the case, um, where's Jones? I don't need anybody giving the ball away in this game. This is OT. All right, so if we start Curtis Jones and McAllister, I do think it will be Matt could have to play that right sided role. Here's his, actually, no, we'll get into, I'll get into tactics later. Um, all right, then that's kind of throwing me off because I was thinking Sobo, but all right, that does make sense if we're going on form, though. What about Harvey Elliott as well, though? Don't get me wrong, Harvey Elliott could play. He has been playing well, obviously, but I would, I would just go with Jones. Uh, we've missed Jones a lot while he's been away injured. But he's person, one of those yeah. players who helps us to have control of the game, bro. It's no coincidence we started to gain a lot more control over the game yesterday. After um, Jones came on as well, I hear Sobo that. gives the ball away a lot. I don't want to go off on a tangent because I know you're in the Sobo Defense League, 
But, uh, bro, Sobo gives the ball away a lot. So even though he does well defensively and he does a lot of good defensive work, bro, we can't have misplaced passes and giving the ball away and all that stuff. We need to maintain possession. We need to stay on the ball. And Jones's ball retention is way better than Sobo. It's way uh, better, bro. I think he plays it safer, though, if I'm being honest. But I get what you mean. He's got a better ball retention. But hear this now from Mafalu. He goes, Jones played... Just about 20 minutes. I don't think he's fit enough to start. He was out since mid-Feb, remember? I know that the chat trusts I Jones. I trust Jones. and I. But we have to think about, if Jones has only played 20 minutes of football, 20, we're going to throw him in the deep end against Man United. Do I you, give him an you hour. Think, you give him an hour? I give him an hour. And then I've got Sobo on the bench to come on. Okay. All right, then. Bold decision. Um, but a calculated one, I think. Hopefully, it should pay off. Uh, Mr. Mr. Turban, you should be able to, bro. You definitely should be able to join the membership through using your phone, bro. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. um, hold on. It'll be in the description of the video, bro, or, or in, on any of the videos. Try going through that way for real. Um, all right, then left wing. Diaz. That was kind of... But you want to know... You're gone. I'm tempted to play Gakpo there. Interesting. Because I was thinking the same thing and bring Diaz off the bench. Because I feel like mm. Diaz has exerted a lot of energy recently. And... Yeah. But if we're going to have someone who's going to cook it up... Because if wan is playing... Gapo won't get any change out of Wamba Saka in terms of like getting past him, whereas mm, Diaz can. Diaz may, yeah, maybe, but I actually think Gapo. No, here's what I think: Diaz will work a lot harder, but my worry is that he'll use so much, so much energy, like working hard to try and stop Wamba Saka running down the other way. That when he gets the ball, it might be a little bit tired. Whereas Cody, it's like you're taking a risk. He won't work as hard as Diaz, but he might be fresher going forward. I don't know, like. I think Gapo will pick up better better positions in the in the pitch. I think he'll he he would work Wambasaka defensively with his movement rather than with the ball at his feet. But with the ball at his feet, he's not getting past Wambasaka, is he? Let's be honest, he's not. I just thought of something actually. I just thought of something. <laughs> All right, well, in fact, we'll go there now, and then I'm going to tell you something. Who's going right wing? Mo, so yeah. Even though mm. Mo, had a, Mo didn't have a good game. All right, hear this now. If Mo <laughs> plays and wan has been playing well against him, even in the last game, do Man United do this? Possibly. Because I'm going to be real. For some reason, Mo struggles sometimes against wan And it's because wan kind of knows that Mo's more likely than not, not going to go byline. And He's it's actually... Cut. Yeah, and he's going to come inside it, and he works better for Wan Bissaka because Wan Bissaka goes in onto his strongest side, which is where he wants to face, isn't it? Mm. So if that's the case, actually, this it can actually be more key for Diaz because even though I think Salah, for some strange reason, might struggle a little bit, I think the space will be there for Diaz, like in the last game at Old Trafford, the space will be mm. there for Diaz, you know. Yeah, if that's if they if they do play Wan Bissaka on that side to take care of Molden, yeah, that's true. So that's true, and then I'm guessing we already know the striker is Darwin Nunes. Yeah, yeah. so we go about familiar 4 3 3. Um, all right, quick question, Drew, because how do you think we should attack them, by the way, as well? Because I do feel like all Man United do, they're gonna do the same thing, they're gonna they're gonna do like a, a mid to low block as they normally do, be compact. How do we actually hurt them? Because if we've got Gomez at right back and Robert at left back. I do kind of feel like now, like the weaponry that we would have from Bradley, like driving down here, Gomez ain't really gonna do. It. Even though Gomez can, he's not. He's not Bradley, if that makes sense. Mm. So, do you think that's Robbo's job now, or do you think? I think I think, I think um, Gomez gets up and down the the right side. Well, when he plays on the left, he doesn't because it's not his natural side. But when he plays right back, he gets up and down. We won't miss any width if Joey's playing, as long as the instruction is to do it. But I think he'll probably invert and it will be Robbo that will create the width. 
What, so you think... Because this is what I'm thinking. Oh, All right. 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 They'll invert to pack. Yeah. All right. They're and then it'll... Do this. They'll do that. Yeah. Salah want to get in the pocket. What? So you, do you think you think? Where do you think you think Gomez is going to invert or go bomb down the wing? Uh, I think Gomez will invert. Yeah. So you think he's going to invert yeah, with Endo? Will, so yeah. yeah, and then what we'll do is that will free up McAllister to front to to roll. This is McAllister's space right there. Diaz. Will yeah, find... it, will, it will free up McAllister to be able to roam a bit and Jones slightly as well. So Jones and McAllister will be the two that get on the ball the most. They'll be the two that will try and create the the space and the passes for the runners in front of them. And then Robbo will be the one who provides some width. And then obviously Joey will drop back into a back three if we've ever got a counter-attack scenario or something like that. Yeah, because if I'm being honest, Endo, Endo will ever so slightly push up, but Endo will be very... Because remember, one thing I will say about Endo, Endo does get involved um, in, in progressive play, actually. Endo will look to to play them kind of killer balls just as well as McAllister will as well. Like McAllister will try to play the ball to do this as well. But yeah, if I guess if Gomez does invert, like you said, if we get caught in the counter, we can do this or whatever. You know what I mean? We were, we're kind of going to the back three because I'll be real, bro. The key to beating Man United will be the width. So it's either like it's, it's Robbo or Gomez and you you most likely think it's going to be Robbo if he starts. Has to be the one that has to provide that width. My only issue though, Drift, yeah, do you think by doing this, we're a little bit lopsided? Well, that's how we've been playing all season. So it's No, but just... the reason I say that is because if Bradley was to play, yeah, it's more of a risk. But let's say it's Bradley, yeah, but and if not Bradley, Joey. Then Gomez left back. I don't know if any of you lot have it's noticed. Correct. I yeah. don't remember many games where Gomez has been dropped and Bradley and Robbo have played together. Like somebody, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I barely remember Bradley and Robbo playing at the same time. Bradley and Robbo. Yeah, both uh, starting the game. It cannot have even been more than once or twice if it's happened. Somebody yeah, it's let normally me. Been, it's normally been Gomez left back and Bradley right back. But that's mainly because Robbo's been injured and for some reason he hasn't trusted Simicas. So you got a point there. So most likely, so then going by off what we've normally done, it would, it would, it would, it would look like Gomez is going to invert, and then you got the <laughs> freeze up someone to either do the left. It, it's it's, it's tactical. tactical. I don't even just think it's injuries. It's tactical. Robo and Bradley don't play because they're both wide marauding fullbacks, and Klopp doesn't want both sides of the pitch to have players who are pushing forward. So that is why Gomez plays either flank, depending on who the other one is playing. Yeah. I barely remember ever Bradley and Robbo both playing in the same game. From the no, start. you're right, but it's kind of by design, though, because by design, when we invert, we always push up. Like, the last time we done... In fact, we done the other day, we were talking about. Gomez was no, left just... back. Yeah, yeah, Gomez was left back, people. I remember, this is what we done the other day, yeah? Literally. Um, oh, hold on. Give me one sec. This is what we did, yeah. So, if I'm not mistaken, it was Gomez. No, sorry. So it wasn't Robert wasn't there. Bradley was the one there, and Gomez was the one, and it was more like this, in it. And we used Bradley as the outlet to try and get the the crosses into the box. Because we could also go like that. That's another... See, I think it's going to be one or, one, or, one or the other, basically. It's either going to be Gomez left back and Robbo and Bradley right back. Or, like what you're saying, which I think is more the possibility because Robbo um, didn't start and he affected the game. It'll be Robbo left back and Gomez right back. Gomez inverts and then Robbo will be the one to provide the width. Either way, we're only going to go like kind of high on one side. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I guess there is too much risk playing Bradley and thingy, but but I guess when you've got Endo in a traditional 4 3 3 and McAllister, it, you just got to pick your poison it, or you pick when you attack. You pick when you attack and go down the flanks. But I think it most likely will be this, or it will be what we just did a minute ago, and it will be Robbo flying down this flank mm. and Gomez um, in <laughs> Bernie. So yeah, but I think it will be this one. I think it will be the um 
Robbo starting. Gomez, like, is is here, and Robbo is the one providing the width. You get me? So remains to be seen, Drift. But is there anything that worries you about Man United quickly before we wrap up the tactics? Anything you, you think that they could do that might surprise yeah, you? Yeah, they're good in the counter attack. There's no point in denying that. It's kind of been the only way they've been able to actually beat a lot of the teams that they've beaten this season. Mm. Um, they've got a lot of pace on the counter attack. They've got Garnacho, Anthony, Rashford, Maynou, uh, Hoy uh, Hoyland. They've got a lot of quick players for counter attack. Um, if McTominay plays or comes on, you've got to be careful because he's very good at making last minute runs and getting those kind of goals as well. Yeah. So you've got yeah, to. Keep yeah. If he plays or if he comes on, so he's a threat, a goal threat. Um, yeah, other than that, without being disrespectful, there's nothing else to worry about with Man United. We just have to play our game, we just have to play our game and watch for the counter attack. Those are the two main things that are key to victory play our game and not the occasion, and be very aware of counter attacks. Yeah, I fully agree. I feel like if Jones is able to give us 60, 70 minutes and McAllister's McAllister, I think an endo is available. I genuinely feel like we dominate the midfield. Like we, And I'm talking line share possession. I'm talking 65% maybe possession at Old Trafford because I can't see them, the way how we play our football, bro. And like you say, like Jones, good ball retention, McAllister, killer football in IQ, endo can read the game very well. <laughs> that trio there, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a mazza, bro. And we are, we are going to need to have Elliot, Subaslai, and whoever else may come in as a sub. We are going to need them to be on their A game. It, yeah. You know what I mean? And we played it's them in the FA Cup. Right. Yeah, so. They didn't make, any, um, didn't make a difference. So Say this again, time... We in the FA Cup game, all our subs came on and made no difference. That can't be the case for this game. I know Elliot scored, but like in his overall general play, he didn't play well when he came on at Old Trafford. We need, we need if, when we make our subs, we need them to come on and have an impact. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I just hope that we kind of like set, set, we set up shop, and we let them know what time it is straight away. I know some mm. people are saying stop the inverted thing, but. I think what it is with the inverted, the inverted allows us to get more people into the centre of the pitch as well as it kind of does wide. So, like, I, I actually think it's a good idea to in put at this. When we when we attack, Gomez can just sit here, so to speak, or, or be there next to it, and we'll just go forward like this. And I think we'll be, I think we'll be fine, personally. Mm -hmm. But Robbo has to provide the width. Obviously, McAllister, you know what he's <laughs> going to do. He's going to look for the, to pick pockets of space. Um, and he will drift into that inside right position that he loves, and you know Salah will try to get onto the end of things as well. So yeah, man, let's just hope, bro, that it, like I know people are saying like it plays into the hands, but I think like you were saying, just if we'd done the two traditional fullbacks like I suggested, it maybe is too much a bit of a risk. So invert one of the centre back, one of the the, the wing backs, and then you're kind of everyone else goes into attack. Mm. So. That's the way to beat him, in my opinion. And, and we have to be on point straight away, bro. We can't have a slow start. We really can't. Yeah, yeah, you know we, can't, we can't. That right, is then. imperative that we don't slow, start slow. Because they could all be one, two nil up if we start slow. And all of a sudden, we've got a comeback we shouldn't have had to have. So. Yeah, I think it's the start. That's arguably the most important thing. Because the way we start games recently has been atrocious. I mean, it's been like that pretty much all season. But recently, it's just been really bad. We can't let that happen again. Like, Sheffield United mm. nearly scored with the first kick of the game. So, but yeah, yeah, all right then. Drift score prediction, bro. What are you saying? I don't want to say. No, nah, bro. <laughs> you have to say, bro. No, nah, I don't want to say, bro. Just say what you're gonna say in it. It's what we're here for, bro. You're not feeling confident, basically. You think we're going to drop points? I think we're going to draw this game. Oh, no. Uh, okay, scoreline. What do you think the scoreline would be? 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, zero, zero. Nil, nil, sorry. 2-2, two, two, probably. 
Ah, you're being honest. I know it's not going to be an easy game. Um, my United will score because they jam me like that. But I think we win two one. I think we win two one. I hope you're right. Bro. And I don't think we start bad like how we how we did against Sheffield United. I think we know what time it is. So I'm going Liverpool two one. Pray that I'm right, flipping out, bro. Yeah, I pray you're right. It's yeah, mad. I people, don't know because yeah. I, I see people in the chat saying we should be more confident about it. But let's be honest, guys. We thought we were going to win the FA Cup game and we didn't. True. So we can't just like let's learn our lesson. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing expecting a different result. So let's not keep hyping and then being angry afterwards. Let's just <laughs> so learn. Let's not do the same thing, bro. We let's just got much we learn the same our... thing in it before we go into the game and then if we beat them then we can celebrate because even though may united are in the mud they still got the victory of us and you know what they're in the mud and they got a draw at anfield which was everybody was running them out before may now i heard people talking about can we repeat the seven nil and all that and then we beat them nil and then we we got a nil nil draw with them or one one draw whatever it was at anfield so like let's be real guys we play Man United twice this season, and both times they've managed to somehow get out of there with points or a win that they shouldn't have. Let's not get carried away, keep making the same mistake. For, oh, yeah, we're just going to whack them up. And then everyone's angry afterwards. Can we beat them? Of course we can. But there's something about Man United that's just annoying me. And I just think it's going to be a draw, and it's really going to annoy me. Because we've only got one draw in us to win the league. We got one slip we're up not, in eight games. This game, That's it. It can this only be, and we got one game we can this slip up. The game. This ain't the game, in my opinion. No, I hope we're not. And we need to save that for Tottenham at home. But now, because we'll be you always to we'll come and get a draw at Anfield, bro. I know that. We, yeah, the, yeah. When the pre- we yeah, know I'm this, bro. We know well, this. So Joe, I'll be back. Yeah. So I'm, we need I'm to. We need to win this. We need to win this, man. There you have it, people. There you have it. Um, listen, this game is this game is everything, boy. This Sunday, so oh, Villa away. Yeah, we might have to save our draw for Villa away. Actually, <laughs> Bro, let's get one game at a time. One game at a time. Yeah, no, but I'm saying um, we've only got one draw in us out of eight games. That's the only mistake we can make, and that might even cost us the league on goal difference. But we got one mistake we can make, and that's only a draw, bro. I hear that. Um, big up Cyberzone. He says, Thomas Martin, reliable Spanish journal, Madrid Connections is saying, we are going all out for Valverde, 120 million bid. Laugh out loud, what the F. I did see that as well. I'm just looking at it as Valverde is using the Spanish press to get a big contract. Like, I don't even know what contract even on, but there is no way Liverpool are getting Valverde. Like, why would he leave what is happening right now? Like, I, I could be... So Unless, uh, the only way that will happen, in my opinion, because I agree with you 100%, yeah. is if they've realised that they will get some kind of FFP hit with the Mbappe madness they're about to do, and yeah, they've got... Maybe, a, yes, one like man that. has to be sacrificed out of their players. Like, one. And Valverde probably would be higher up the pecking order for the sacrifice than a Vinny Jr. or any, like, you know what I mean? So that's the only thing I can think of why they could possibly think about. Let's be honest, it'll be Camavinga or Valverde if they've got a cash in on an asset. It won't be sure many, won't be Vinny, won't be Rodrigo. Oh, it will Rodrigo, be bro, It will be Valverde or yeah. Camavinga if they have Valverde to cash in on cold, one of them. But I don't even think about it because we're not getting Valverde. But I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and and, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, as good as Valverde is, 120 mil, fuck that. I want to pay 120 mil for him. He's not that good. Do you know what I will say, though? No, no Matt, he's not disgusting. that good. He's not 120 no, plus disgusting. good. Bro. Okay, he might not be 112, but he's, he's disgusting. Not. He's not. Bro. Now, Valverde is cold, you know? No, of course he's cold, but he's not 120 plus. He's I not mean, bro, if Valverde signed for Liverpool, I, I don't even want to say, I, if, I'm not going to say nothing. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not 120 plus. If Valverde signed for Liverpool, even though I can't see it, I just realised he's Darwin Nunes' his brethren. Uh, we might be onto something still. I just realised. You were going as 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 good of a player as he is, that would be all our budget. 
with Liverpool. That would be the whole budget. He's not worth the whole budget. If you're spending the whole budget, then you have to be signing a Killian or what someone if I like that. No, no, of course. What if I told you Liverpool still wanted to get midfielder and we changed the profile and instead of getting Caicedo, we, we just said we're going to go and get Valverde. We're so where's Valverde going to play in our team as well? But I ain't got a clue, bro. Because Valverde, Valverde would either be taking Soboslai's place or Salah's place because those are the two positions he plays the best. Right wing yeah. or right midfield. So, well, so last summer's um, Silver Slide, Marquee mm -hmm. signing, just dropped to the bench, just like that, yeah, to bring in Valverde. Is that what we're the, saying? Do you, do you want the best squad in Europe? I'm just, I'm just saying. Would you? Would no, you of take course, a... but I'm saying this, Liverpool don't do that's Real Madrid shit. Man City, them man, they do that. Liverpool don't Bro, do that. All I'm saying is, unless Liverpool your name is Virgil or Trent. And maybe Salah. Everybody. I do know what. I agree with everybody. Both, I agree with what Dan's saying. I would take Camavinga over Valverde. It would make more sense for our squad. Um, the thing is, though, as good as Camavinga is, and he is good. A CM and a CM and a and a and Valverde's a backup better, though. I know what you mean. Yeah, for a balance, but Valverde is better. I guess Camavinga. Valverde is a better. Would make more sense. Hmm. Oh, Rodrigo. Come on, I'm not gonna lie. Brilliant addition to the Liverpool Rodrigo team. is the one, though. Right. But yeah, Rodrigo is the one, but we ain't gonna get none of them. But we'll wait and see what the summer holds. You never know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But people, mm. listen, um, stay tuned. All that good stuff. And make sure you subscribe to Incorporation Not Time is already. And smash the like button, please, people. It really does um, help and support the channel. Um, we'll be back, obviously, on Sunday for the watch-along and the match reaction. And not only that, we'll be back tonight as well. I re remember, are we back tonight? Yeah, we're back tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got yeah, the back tonight. tonight. We're back tonight. Sorry, calling show as well. So you'll see us later on this evening, and then you'll see us on Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned for those shows, people. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, man. And we've got a member show that's dropping as well, people. Yeah, so. yeah. There's a few things coming yeah. out still, so pause. Yeah, I'm saying. Um, stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. But um, but yeah, people. As always, love for the love, and we'll see you later on, people. Take it easy. Peace.